Happy Friday, Mayor Dan Pope with a weekly update. Hope you've had a great week. I want to update you on two or three things going on. First of all, our planning committee, uh, we've, we're calling the CPAC, that's the Con uh, Comprehensive Plan Advisory Committee. 34 citizens uh, led by Chairman John Zweiker, uh, who are first and foremost uh, uh, going to present, uh, recommend a new a comprehensive land use plan for the city. Uh, once again, as a reminder, that's not been updated since the 80s. Uh, then they will do a, a sort of more of a long-term city plan, which hasn't been done in 20 years. They're doing good work. Uh, it's not moving real, real fast. It's, uh, so I appreciate the citizens volunteering for that. All the meetings are public. If you want to follow what's going on, you can certainly go and watch and listen in the meetings. Uh, but but I just want to applaud their efforts. It's it's very important work, and and I think progress is being made in that regard. Speaking of progress, I don't know if you've driven by Citizens Tower downtown, but there's uh, significant work going on there. It's uh, well underway. The uh, the renovation and rebuilding of that, and uh, uh, it's something that uh, uh, we're excited about. The uh, you know the 2019 completion of that, but. People have asked about when, when it's going to get going, and it's actually going, and you can drive around it and see the activity. Um, there's a lot going on downtown. I, I get asked downtown questions all the time, and, and I don't have time to talk about all the different projects that are in the planning phases right now, but, but you really don't need to do much more than to, than to come downtown for a First Friday art trail, the first Friday of every month, to see all the great things that, that, are, that are happening downtown. By the way, next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, we're having, we're having our first uh, ever book festival, Lubbock Book Festival. It's uh, gonna be down at Luca. It's, uh, there's gonna be some really uh, great authors in town, including uh, S.C. Gwynn, who wrote uh, Empire of the Summer Moon. He wrote the perfect pass book about, about Mike Leach and, and the, the kind of offense that we, that we see in college football now. He wrote a great book called Rebel Yell about Stonewall Jackson. He'll be here next weekend. This weekend, there's the Flatland, Flatland Film Festival, also based at Luca, but in different locations. You can find out more about that online. It's a, it's, they got some really uh, neat events this weekend there too. Final thing, our new fiscal year has started at City Hall. It started October 1st. So you'll see us implementing the things that are in our budget. Uh, some um, uh, backup technology solutions some that we, we that we have funded this year. Uh, we're uh, we've got a new class of or we're we're searching for a new class of uh, LPD officers. We funded ten new positions, and you may have seen that they had the physical and, and written test a Saturday before last, and now they're going through background checks. So we can get a new class of of of, of uh, to go through the the academy. Uh, you'll see us start to implement more of the things that are in the budget uh, for parks as an example we've got a lot of work we're doing it par with parks uh, we'll start spending the money to get those materials or to hire the vendors whichever it may be so we can implement those things it's, once it's in the budget and it's approved let's get it done i think that's what what citizens expect by the way on the parks most of that much of that work in fact the vast majority of that work we're going to do internally there's no really reason to go hire vendors to put up picnic uh, tables and, and park benches that they were replacing and, and covers uh, like pavilion covers and uh, those type things. We, we, we can do that ourselves. We've got the people that can do it. We can make dollars go further if we do that. And I applaud the city leadership's uh, direction on that. I appreciate all of you. I, it's my great pleasure to serve as your mayor. Uh, I thank you for your prayers and for your good ideas. And I look forward to talking to you next week.